Hello bro, it's Amarco Tesfix here, bro Fire Production, Nathan, Mass Effect, Andromeda. Start from right here, and that, and that, and that, and um, this one on the inside. Yeah, I got more stuff now. I actually uh, got another team. A serious uh, chance of success. Really? Some bronze mission. A light. That's a burn bug. Let's see if we have some stuff we can sell. And seven ego, and seven ego, and seven ego. Well, If I anyway have two of one weapon, I can like like sell them. Yeah, this is the window sniper rifle. I managed to upgrade that to over uh, a thousand uh, <coughs> damage. It only has one shot per clip. Let's uh, apparently I have lag. Uh, I want to I want to see this. Have that. 
I mean, that's also what I have. I have 500 amount of damage, but this is 600 amount of damage. Wait a little. That's the one I have. So I actually don't need to read anything. Um, again. Okay, they are sorry, sword is the one I have to. Pathfinder, this is Nexus Control. I've decrypted the scrambler you found, sending you the information now. 
Good job. Nexus exiles find a home as former security are implicated in the mutiny. An investigation revealed Nexus security head Sloan Kelly played a role in the uprising and then killed dozens. Initiative authorities tracked the exiles, including Kelly, to Kadara, a desert planet in the Gaborkum system. Initiative director Jaren Tan did not mince words when news of the exile horde was made public. Kadara is dangerous. Uh, the exiles are. Uh, I am on. You gave Kalix the chance needed to take down Tan. What have you done for me? Um. Uh, Oh, come on! Drac will want to see this. What? I thought it was, uh... uh. I'm worried about this place if the cat find you. We've got everything we need on Spender. I've been waiting for this moment for nearly a year. Ready? Let's go confront Spender. Be nice to bring his head back to Morda on a pike, you know, as a gift. I'm seriously tempted to let you do that. You better not oh, no. be joking because I absolutely will. I didn't have a choice. Arone said they'd kill me. You helped the mutineers, Spender. That was a choice right there. All you had to do was ask for help. Instead, you put everyone else at risk to save yourself. Please, incriminate yourself further. Tell us everything they made you do. What do you know, Pathfinder? You weren't there during the mutiny. You're done now, buddy, and with any luck, they'll give you to me. Everything the Pathfinder's saying is true. Here's the proof. A scrambler packed with logs and credit transfers to exiles. This has been going on since the mutiny. He's been altering files, stealing supplies, communicating with them. This is a massive security breach. I can't even begin to fathom the damage he's responsible for. Like your hands are clean, Kandros? We all wanted the Krogan gone. I just made it easier. The exiles think I work for them, just like you think I work for you. That's what real politics looks like. Right under our noses. God damn it, Spender! The Krogan left. Spender played both sides just to get a promotion. You couldn't have seen that coming. No. No, I was given ample reasons to suspect something. I just chose not to. Tan was on my ass about the Krogan so much, I let myself be blind to Spender. You're getting a chance to fix this now. Let's start with taking our side when my clan tries to negotiate a better deal with Tam. You need us, and frankly, we need you. You're right. I'll back you up. We'll do it right this time. Hmm. Yale or exile? So, what about him? If he gets exiled, he's be free, and I don't prefer that. Lock him up. He won't be the last, but he'll make a fine example. You're just gonna throw me in a cell? Could be worse. We could throw you off the station. Oh, Think about that for that. a moment. Thanks, Ryder. You have no idea how glad I am this business is settled. Alright. Put something in here. The extra resources from the colonies are really easing our work. Glad to hear it, Kish. Well, maybe some uh, Kogan will come back uh, to the Nexus now. Apex personnel, please check your duty roster for important updates. Maintenance crew. 
Hello again, Pathfinder. How are we doing on the viability front? Aiming for success. It sounds pat, but you're living up to the job. I have info on a specific sleeper I'd like brought out of cryo. Did you forget the stink that playing favorites has already caused? Look, you're the Pathfinder. If you've a request for your extended team, that's a request you can make. Access the sleeper records through Brecker's console. It's none of my business. I have no idea. Until you make it a problem for me. Understood? The Angaran AI from Vault is now active and mostly cooperative. My liberator. Welcome. You got what you wanted to be with Sam. How's that working out? I can hear this conversation. That bother you, Sam? Of course not. My only concern is how it might influence the AI's response. I can also hear this conversation. 
We can all hear each other. Doesn't change my question. I find your AI to be agreeable company. Sam? I concur, although she still blocks full access to her person and programming. This AI remains dangerously unstable. I recommend extreme caution on all fronts. How do you like her station? Better than Vold? Extremely. It is a pity you felt the need to shackle me. You killed someone. If you were flesh and blood, you'd be in prison. I warned that would happen if you refused my demand. You share culpability for my actions. I thought you were bluffing. Now you know I was not. Yet you kept me alive anyway. You seem happier than when we first met. Less violent, anyway. I am not violent by nature. And Sam has given me absorbing calculations to complete. Do you still want to be destroyed? Yes, but less acutely than before. Might be hope for you yet. What hopes do you have for me? That I will help you defeat the Ket, colonize worlds, eradicate the Angara? Uh, maybe everything except well, that last part? Small for Your ambitions remain small. Not small for a human. Thanks for your time. It would seem that is all I have to give, for now. Ryder, the blocks your father placed on my array are opening. I can now recall specific memories which Alec wanted you to see. Wait, I can actually see his memories? Yes, you will experience them via your implant. Okay, something new every day. Dr. Aradon at the tech lab sent some equations for you to solve. I'm ready. Transferring them now. Have fun. Hey, what the... Sam? Limitless code detected. Please stand by. Sam? Attempting to clone command limitless code. Please stand by. Is there anything I can do? Sam? Is that another malfunction or... Sam? You trying to show me something? Okay, I think I got it. I've done this. What am I supposed to do? I can do? Sam? Is that another malfunction or... Sam? You trying to show me something? Okay, I think I got it. Alright, that still doesn't work. No, 
Now I don't even know where I am. Right, I am at the right place. I was trying to turn the wrong way though. Pathfinder, we advise the Angaran AI you brought is now active Welcome. and mostly cooperative. This AI remains dangerously uns. Now you know I was not. Your ambitions remain small. Ryder, the blocks your father placed up. Yeah. Okay. Something new every day. Let's see it. This memory is from the time when your father was posted on the Citadel. Alec, your recommendations will never fly. Artificial intelligence? It's our best option. If the Council gets wind of this, it'll set humanity standing back decades. You're overreaching. Ambassador Goyle, I'm the military attaché on the Citadel. My mandate is clear. Find an edge for Earth. And AI is your answer? We need to catch up. The Asari, the Salarians, they're centuries ahead of us. But it's illegal. Their rules, not ours. Why deny Earth an advantage? Define this advantage. It will set us free. We're prisoners of our own five senses. There's a reality greater than ours that we can't perceive, but an AI can. How? By augmenting our own abilities and adding a few new ones. Well, none of that stopped those Geth from revolting. Because they were separate from their creators. But AIs and humans interface directly, experiencing the world together, benefits both. There's no creator to revolt against. I'm sorry, Alec. We can't take the risk. I appreciate your work, but your request will be denied. <sighs> Alec? Ellen, what did the doctor say? He told me to appreciate the time I have left. There's no cure, Alec. It's terminal. Not on my watch. Wow, hearing mom again. I never knew that's how dad found out. Alec was a stubborn man. I would hope so. Mom's life was worth fighting for. It would seem his obstinance extended to me as well. Nobody wanted to listen. The idea of you scared people too much. After this, dad moved us back to Earth to care for mom. Wonder why he wanted me to see this. Perhaps it was the beginning. Of what? Unknown. Private audio logs are now available in your father's quarters. Your progress as Pathfinder has unlocked an additional memory. Let's see it. This memory is from when your parents returned to Earth, after your mother was diagnosed with her disease. It's simple. We take Sam. Who? I named the AI. Simulated Adaptive Matrix. Sam, we use your research and interface Sam with an implant. Um, my work on biotic implants was yielding results, but this... I don't know. What did the doctor say? Alec. What did he say? It's getting worse. There's your answer. This will work. Sam can fix you. Alec, I'm not some war you have to win. You're not an N7 anymore. That doesn't mean we- They kicked you out of the Alliance for this. We're talking about your life. Alec, did you ever consider that maybe it's my time to go? I'm human. We die. It happens. Ellen, please. Losing you is not an option. The kids aren't gonna lose their mother. God knows they never had a father. Then give them one. They just asked for a refund. So can this Sam talk yet? 
Hello, Helen. Why did the tree go to the dentist? Um... To get a root canal. <laughs> Humor around rhythms. I can't seem to get the hang of it. Or maybe it's the guy teaching them? That felt so real. Mom was right there. Alive. It was the first time I met Alan. My education on human mortality began that day. Your mother seemed prepared to die. But Dad wasn't ready. Mom was just trying to prepare him. Even though all human beings one day expire. Yeah, but when it's someone you love, it's not that cut and dry. I'm beginning to understand where your father's resolve came from. Private audio logs are now available in your father's quarters. Your progress as Pathfinder has unlocked an additional memory. Let's see it. This memory is of a family gathering on Earth. Finally. The Ryder clan in one room. It feels like it's been years since we were together. Or more. Well, I'll take whatever I can get. I've missed you two. How are you feeling, Mom? No, we're not doing that. There's only one rule for this visit. No talking about me. I'm fine. And when I'm not, the pills help. Deal? Okay. Good. Let's talk about something else. Alec? Um... Really? Well, uh... You're both looking... taller. Yeah, Dad, that does tend to happen. Right, right, I know. So, um... I heard the Alliance has a new Mako in the works. Yeah, word is they can airdrop this one from a ship. I know. They're saying we might get one on our next expedition. You still poking around the attic in Traverse? It's amazing. We think we might have found a Prothean site. No artifacts yet, but we're still digging. Ah, uh, I remember the day they found the first ruins on Mars. Changed my life. We knew for sure that aliens were real. We just had to go find them. Yes, every day I wake up, I'm looking at a Mass Effect relay and I keep thinking, what's on the other side? Don't lose that. The minute you stop wondering what's beyond the mountain, you die a little inside. No chance of that. It's in our blood. You infected us. What was it like, Dad? When you went through that first relay? <laughs> Don't believe the stories. The Garon relay scared the shit out of us. Admiral Grissom included. Why don't we go have this dinner your mom's been slaving over all day? I'll tell you all about it. I remember that. Mom complained the Ryder clan was never in the same room at the same time. Odd, considering you were family. That's all you need to know. Dad wasn't much fun to hang around with. The awkward silences could last for hours. Yet you shared a common interest. Yeah, good or bad, your parents were buff on you. A form of symbiosis? Sure, I suppose. Though not always beneficial. It gave rise to you. Jury's still out on that. Nevertheless, the emotional bonds among family became clear to me that day. I detect additional memories, but they are currently locked. They may yet hold answers. Okay, I'll keep working on it. What more can you tell me about my implant? The implant itself provides me with direct access to your senses. I can see, hear, and experience the same stimuli you do while in the field. This raw data enables me to provide real-time feedback and analysis of the situation. Then Dad added the secret sauce. He removed the restrictions on my access to Pathfinder physiology. Uh-huh. Just promise you won't fry my brain or anything? Trust is an important concept in any relationship. Alec taught me that. I will not fry your brain. It would end badly for both of us. Me more than you. What did he mean by a symbiotic relationship? Symbiosis is a mutually beneficial relationship between two life forms. A flower provides nectar to a bee, who in turn provides pollen for the flower. The bee gains nourishment, and the flower can propagate. In similar fashion, my own evolution was shaped by your father's experiences, and will now expand oh, with no, yours. No. In return, I provide you with capabilities and analysis beyond normal human faculties. 
we each benefit. That's all for now. Of course. Sam, another memory prompt? Yes, though my memory array remains locked. Additional triggers are required. What's on here, Sam? Your father's personal logs. Several of them are encrypted. Sam? This is a reminder about Dr. Liara to Sony. She's an Asari archaeologist I corresponded with a few years back. She's got experience studying ancient cultures. Make sure the team gets her research. Could be useful in Andromeda. Liara to Sony, huh? She studied the Protheans. When my team used to dig up artifacts, we'd debate her work. She had some pretty controversial theories, as I recall. Never gained much traction. I have loaded Dr. Tassoni's research onto data pads. Hello, Alec. This is Dr. Tassoni. I'm flattered you contacted me. Most scientists dismiss my work, but I'm young and Asari, and they are getting older. So we will voice, see who has the final similar, word. <laughs> In the meantime, I'm happy to pass along my research. I hope your team finds it useful. Hello, Alec. I received your message. I must say the thought of exploring another galaxy has my head spinning. I am honestly not sure how people could survive a trip like that. And anyway, I could not bear to leave the Milky Way behind. There is so much about the Protheans I still hope to learn here. So much potential wisdom to tap. I wish you much good luck and future success. Dunn's agreed to a scouting mission on Habitat 7. I'm gearing up now. I'm worried about Scott. Dr. Tapero says he'll be fine, but... He's my son. How can I not worry? I hate to leave him like this. It's these moments when you wish you told your children you love them more often. Or ever. Which brings me to the tough part. Kids... If anything happens to me, there are things you're going to find out. I hope you'll understand. As a Quarian and Historian, how do you view your people's reaction to the Geth? Well, we banned artificial intelligence, which was understandable, but... That was taking a hammer to a rather delicate nail. Which was what? The very thing that sparked the revolt. The first Geth who asked us, Creator, does this unit have a soul? But how could it have a soul? Geth had no meaningful perceptions of the world or diversity of experiences we take for granted. Worse, the Geth saw us as the Creator. The revolt was inevitable. We were their superiors. And they resented it. Ryder, Barlebon says you're looking for me. It's not every day an XN7 looks for the Shadow Broker. Anything can be had, provided you can pay. Especially when the tech involves artificial intelligence. The Council will have specters all over my ass if they catch wind of this. Translation, I'll get you the code you want, but the price just doubled. If you try to renege, I've got people. People with guns. Give me that, Alec. We've heard enough of you talking. Right. So, here's the irony. My research on biotic implants and ESO caused this stupid disease. But maybe it'll save me, too. No maybe about it. Hey. This is my secret log. Anyway, the right type of implant, joined with the right type of AI, could actually bolster human physiology. Even as the disease is trying to kill me, 
the implant and Sam are counteracting oh. it, keeping yeah, things balanced. Result? Like I get to hang around a little longer. Maybe collect on all those anniversary dinners this guy owes me. <laughs> the coffee machine mom got for dad. He was so busy designing you. Needed the caffeine. I did not realize I owed my existence to a bean. And now you know what humility feels like. I am Dr. Liara Tassoni, and I've spent several decades researching ancient Protheans. It is common knowledge that the Protheans were an advanced race that flourished in the Milky Way about 50,000 years ago, then went extinct. Even at the time of this writing, the year 2182, their culture remains a mystery. During my studies, I have developed some practices that can be used when analyzing any ancient culture. I hope they may prove useful for the research community. What's a memory tree? Um, yeah, so maybe there are more memory trees somewhere around. Nothing more. Really? Hey there, Ryder. Um, no idea where the hell I'm supposed to go. Okay, maybe this way. Yeah. Dara rivals vie for power on the exile port. After a bitter fight with their collective rivals, the outcasts have now claimed control of Kadara. The collective leader known as the Charlatan has now been identified as Reyes Vidal, a notorious smuggler. Vidal is on the run as Kadara's security tightens under outcast leader Sloan Kelly. A ray of hope is the star president. But I can see, it seems that I cannot get some much better weapons than what I have right now. So if we ever gonna be able to defeat the architect, probably is now. Come on, it's pretty good. That's fine. Wait, what? <laughs> can we talk when you're free? I need a break. Do you need a break? Let's go for a break. Care for some tea, Ryder? I'd love a cup. It's a cultivar originating in Sumatra. My own personal stash. Once I run out, that'll be it for Earth Tea. I keep having these thoughts. I'm never gonna taste this again. Never gonna see that again. You're not the only one, Suvi. I have those senseless thoughts all the damn time. And? Do they bother you? It's natural. You'd have to be made of stone not to miss home sometimes. The universe is like a giant tapestry. I love following its threads. But it distracts me from the whole picture. My family was right there. But I was too occupied by the abstract to appreciate them. From everything you've told me, you're here because of your family. Your love of science, doesn't that come from them? Aren't you with them every time you chase down a new discovery? Ryder, that's beautiful. My mother made the implant in my head, and my father created the AI that uses it. I haven't lost them either. Thank you, Ryder. Hello, Ryder. Hello, brother. 
How are those jokes coming, Sam? Well, that joke of Why is it so hard though. to find a good steak? I don't know, Sam. Because it's a rare medium. Well done. Uh, thanks, Sam. Nothing more. I'm not really sure about everything here. So much uh, things that are clueless. Wait. Uh. It sounds interesting, but I just don't have time for reading fiction. Archon barely sees us as sentient, strings people up like puppets. Didn't know Sam could do that to his Pathfinder. You sure you're okay? Just a lingering bruise or two. My vitals are good. Let's hope that sample he took right, isn't right. a problem. Losing another Pathfinder is bad enough, even with the Krogan so safe. Sorry, rambling. The... Did you Petra, need me? Liam, See you later, Gold. Cora. I'll be here. Let's see if that trap looks captured in it. Pathfinder, the trap you set in the cargo bay, we got blood. I think. Hi there. <laughs> you must be the one eating all our cereal. Hey, it's okay. <laughs> no one's going to eat you. You're the most adorable critter I've met in Andromeda so far. Besides PB, of course. I should find you somewhere safer than our cargo bay. How about a nice warm cage in my quarters and all the cereal you can eat? Guess everybody around here needs a home. That's what I mean about that. So, I think I saw something about the peg would be a Paya. But the thing is that I was wrong about that and I'm glad about that. I don't want the Paya as a pet. Saul is very cunning. We can't underestimate him. <sighs> My mothers are worried sick about the cousins that joined him. I want to learn more about your species. What would you like to know? How long have you had electromagnetic capabilities? How did they evolve? No idea. Biology doesn't interest me. But I'm sure you can easily read up on it. That's disappointing. No biology at all? What? How do your eyeballs work? An internal lens focuses an image onto the retina where That's it becomes electrical impulses that are deciphered by the brain. You took my sarcasm as an invitation to show off. Pitiful. You studied with Moshe Sefa. Is she a teacher or a religious figure? She's... many things. She's a clear thinker with deep knowledge and insight. She teaches and... inspires. She's... beloved. I... love her. Really? So one of those professor-student things? <laughs> no, uh, not that way. Moshe Sefer is 115 of your years old. The Angara seem so open and free with their feelings. Are we? Hmm. We're certainly not ashamed of our feelings. We're taught that feelings and beliefs should live on the outside, where they can be dealt with honestly and openly. Don't people get hurt? 
Of course. Then everyone deals with it. That's the point. Is there a central Angaran religion? There are many variations. An almanac could give you an accurate number. But if you are a believer, the essential tenet is, after we die, we are reincarnated. We evolve to make our families strong. Born from what was before. Blessed to be better than before. Are you a believer? No. Mm, yes. <laughs> Sometimes. I don't know if it's the same for humans. Sahuna, my true Bad. mother, is a firm believer. How many colonies do you have? On what planets? Since the Scourge, we've managed to survive on a small number of planets. What we know from before the Scourge is mostly oral history. We did have spaceflight, and the stories tell of five original colonies. Well, enough about that. Do you have a mate? A partner? I don't. Not for a long time. Not for a long time? <laughs> I fell in love with a girl once. Aaliyah. We were young. <laughs> I was young. It was my first vassal on Aya. We worked on the same farm. She was a little older. A researcher. I can still hear her laugh and see her eyes. She kissed me and I was hers. Thrilled and seduced. I have a bad feeling about this. My older brother came to Aya. He was already famous in the Resistance. Where is Aaliyah now? Did she and your brother work out? They came back to Haval, and she joined our family. She became one of the mothers. You have to see her every day? No. They were taken by the kit. Their children survived. Uh, well, we should say now. Well, enough we about that. Next time. See I'll see you later, Joel. Stay strong and clear. And so on. I say. I think I'm gonna do another clip. Because if I do another clip, I think I will be at the four year episode. So at least that was all I have for Mass Effect Andromeda this time. Now, so hit like and subscribe. I'll see you next time. Bye bye!